Birds flying high Sun in the sky, sun in the sky You know how I feel Alright, so this is Ruben, aka Funk Soul Brother with Texas All Water Fishing. And we are out today again in some of our salty water in our Texas coastal area. Gonna fish a couple channels, toss against some grass. I might go into the marsh, I'm not too sure yet how far I'm gonna work my way down. Uh, stopped this morning, picked up some, uh, picked up some live shrimp, just picked up a pint. So I'll be working a lot of artificial, left the cast net at home, so will encourage me to work more artificial today so stay tuned and we'll see what I hook up with I just saw maybe about six foot shark jump out of the water he came all the way out right at that mouth that it's very scary in this little channel something that big man i wish i would have had my gopro on my goodness that was nuts dang i was i seen these birds over here working and i was coming over here to, to cast on them but i literally saw a shark probably come like nine feet out of the water i'm not even exaggerating may have been closer to eight but there's probably about a six foot shark maybe five foot on the low end and he came maybe two two and a half feet out of the water now that is freaking nuts Right over there tailing. So I'll do some live shrimp over there. So let's see. It's like a small. If he's a red, he's undersized. His tail is small, at least. So let's see what we got here. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Don't. I'll start pulling me out there and pull my anchor now. I'll start pulling me out there and pull my anchor. Come on. What? Oh, there's something you caught up. Come this way. 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 You're just a little guy. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's a nice way to start the day. There we go. All right. Now, just for kicks, let's measure you so we can see exactly what we're dealing with here. Whoa, oh, look at that. <laughs> he is barely touching 20, but. Even if I had a string today, I still wouldn't keep you. I don't really like keeping them when they're that close. Nice little drum. He's drumming a little bit. But we will get you back on your way. So, swim away, little doggy. There we go. Nice swim off. It's a number three circle hook. And I have about 18 inch, maybe about 16 inch. 30 pound line on it using a cigar swivel here have my weight with my beads on it and then I have a little bit of a weighted rattler now you could throw this without the weight it but without the without the weight but I like to throw it with the weight just to give myself a little bit of extra distance and a lot of times you catch yourself out here in the wind so again give yourself a little bit of more distance but right here is one of those drains that I was talking about I see a little bit of movement but nothing really too much but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this live shrimp over there and see 
what um see if anybody wants to take a bite and almost knock that butterfly out so put some drag on your line last thing you want to do is get pulled over if you catch that monster bull or any kind of large fish so i'm gonna let that soak a little bit and then what i typically do is i'll let my fresh line soak and then i'll with my artificial i'll cast i'll do a fan cast all around the area and 20 degrees working on the bottom then I'll come back and fan cast again with a little more little more or a little less action so either I'll do a straight retrieve where it's a little higher up or I'll have to slow it down even slower I'm trying to find the find the rhythm that the fish are biting on and so the question that you chose to ask will it be better Just taking it one day at a time Still don't know what I'm trying to find Really I don't mind Cause I'll be fine Yeah I'll be All fine Alright so you missed the catch You missed the, the fight I'm sorry I didn't realize You missed the fight I'm sorry I didn't realize I wasn't filming I didn't realize I wasn't recording But I was casting Right here at this drain I was throwing something I never threw before, Slayer Ink. Now it's a black and gold one. Thank you, Nick, and thank you, whoever, whatever that guy's name was that gave it to us at the landing. Um, actually, a week ago today, but I was just casting and casting, just working the grass line and working these drains, and I felt a, I felt a very quick thump and. That was it. He just smashed it. So again, I apologize for missing the fight. But fortunately, it happens sometimes. The important thing is I caught this nice, very nice flounder right here in this drain. So let's see where you're at. Right at 18, right at 18 inches. Didn't uh, didn't plan on keeping, plan on keeping any fish. Like most time, I, I don't eat fish. Okay, I'm one of those guys that loves to fish, but I do not eat them. So, about 95% of my catches all go back to the water, including this 19, 18 inch flounder. Go ahead, you can swim off now. Go ahead. You don't want to? <laughs> Go, buddy. Go. There he goes. Something likes wrecking these tails, as you can see. Just yanked it right off. <laughs> so, unfortunately, these are the only two I had in this color. I'm going to go through my box and see if I can find something else. But something likes to wreck them so if you're fishing anytime soon good color scheme to give it a shot all right so i just felt something that felt like a flounder so i'm giving it a few seconds and then i'm gonna try to set my hook there you go yep Ah, you want slack? Don't let it go slack. You don't want it to go slack. That's the one thing you don't want to do is let it go slack. So, oh, <laughs> oh. All right, well, that one was completely and totally my fault. He ran at me, and I let it go slack. So when I change the angle to try to reposition, when I change the angle trying to reposition, I pulled the hook. So that's why it's always, always try to make sure I have my net ready to go. But that was 
probably somewhere around an 18, 19 inch flounder. It was a good one. I barely caught a glimpse of him. So he was about, this, about the same size as one I just caught. So again, you know, just fishing these drains. The grass comes in. Sm bigger channel, smaller channel, water draining out, and he's just hanging here. And this is actually the second flounder that I've caught in this drain particular. So actually I didn't catch him, but I hooked up. This would be this that would have been the second flounder. Rather. This is an H and H, a lighter lure, and you can see right here where he was he bit into that. You can see that little slice and yeah, so I lost a good flounder. Uh but you know that's fishing, you know, you you win some, you lose some. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's see what you are. Come on. Go. Come on. Okay. Maybe a small red. Maybe. Undersized red. Let's see. A little bit of head shakes. Let's see where he's at. Oh. Oh, 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 Don't change directions on me. Come on. Come on. Stay on this side. Stay on this side. Oh my goodness, that is a awesome, awesome, awesome trout. All right, now let's just hang, let's see if we can land this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Head up. Head up. Head up. Head up. Head up. <laughs> ah, stay in the net. <laughs> Came right back to this spot because I caught a nice trout here not too long ago. So I said, okay, all I need is that trout. Let me get, let me get out of the grass. Let me stop fishing the drains. Let me get out there and see if I can get myself a trout. And, oh, got it. Got that trout on live shrimp. So. Oh, man. That was a small red, but was not he's good trout and I just changed my hooks to change my hooks to one of those croaker hooks that are good for hooking up with trout so I'm glad I changed my hook because it looked like that was a great hook set with that hook okay okay there we go there we go now Oh man, this is a nice trout. It's great to put on the stringer for sure. Let's see where you're at. He is 20 and three quarters, almost 21. Almost a 21 inch trout. All right. Don't wanna lose this slimy guy without at least taking a good look at him. Nice trout, nice big mouth, big healthy trout, nice slimy guy. Whew. We'll let you go. All right. Are you ready? You ready? Come on. Are you ready? There you go. There you go. Way to wake up. Now, this is a casking rod. Now, it's, uh, what are you? It is action fast, medium light. They got clothes on a car door and a truck door, and I refixed the tip. But I really like this, this rod. It's really a nice little rod. There we go! <laughs> All right, now it's gonna be put to the test because this thing feels like it's pulling a little bit more than the other guys. Those other guys. Hopefully, hopefully, I won't. My anchor won't come off. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Kind of set that hook in there deeper without popping it off. All right, you always got to find the right time to get your get your net up rather than 
not now I don't want to get drug around but I am in the water now my anchor is so we're gonna be at his mercy my anchor has been pulled I would be a mercy of this big red hopefully no boat comes so gonna get him up here and then pull my anchor yeah that's what I was working and working and working on. I love it when a plant comes together. Now let's get this anchor. It is set adrift. Let's take a look at this guy here. You are a good looking red, buddy. Awesome. <laughs> you are a very good looking red. Let's get that. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. You're going to make me hook myself and I'm not going to be very happy with you. So, let's get this guy right here. Woo, you're going to you're a nice red. You are at 25 inches. 25 inch red. Alright, look how pretty this fit guy is. Nice 25 inch red. Gorgeous guy. So that's going to wrap it up for me today. I am going to fish on the way back to the landing, but pretty much um, had a good day, nice solid day, a couple nice reds, nice flounder, nice trout. Uh, I'm going to fish, like I said, I'm going to fish back to the way to the landing, so if I have anything else, I'm going to cut it in on the way back. But other than that, thanks again for the views, thanks for the likes. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Again, Ruben. AKA Funk Soul Brother, Texas All Water Fishing. Thanks, we'll see you next time back out in the water. Hey, and I'm dreaming. No need to show me how the reason you can't slow me down. Season the moment only now. Yeah, so we gon' be.